check it out. Rob, this is only the beginning of all the delicious food we're about to try here at Dos Rocas. Yeah, in South Main, Soma District, of course. And I'll tell you what, we are switching it up. Instead of sitting down, we ain't got time for that. No. We're going from the kitchen to the table. Yeah, it is so fresh. They call it like a, a street food type mm -hmm. of place. It's almost like you're at a taco truck, but you're in a restaurant. And, and the food so is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So yeah, fresh right from the kitchen into our mouths. That's what's happening here Let's today. eat it up. Let's go. We are authentic, sort of harder to find elements of Latin American street food. What are you cutting right now? Uh, this is the nopales, the cactus, cactus. the nopales. But then also focus on carefully sourced ingredients. We get huge hams like this, then we cut them down, grind the meat or the chorizo and season it. So everything that we do here is from scratch, from the very bottom up. What do you think? Delicious. Tacos, uh, papooshas are really good. The empanadas are always on point. One dish that is very, very unique to Dos Rocas uh, is the pastel de mandioca. I like this one because it has my name in it. Pastel de mandioca. It's fun having something that I know isn't available anywhere else in Little Rock. A great selection of craft beer, 15 local taps. By far our most popular cocktail is our margarita. For our top shelf, we use the Luna Azul Blanco, the dried curacao, fresh squeezed lime juice, and that is that. So this is our hibiscus tea that we make fresh daily. It's such a beautiful color. The last thing is just vino con coca, it's literally coke and wine. This is sort of like a Sunday beverage in Paraguay. We got a yuca fries. What's a yuca fry? It's like potato, but it's a long bread. Very different than American fries. It's good. Mm, I like it. Yuca all the way. I don't think I've ever had plantains what? like this. Never. And definitely not with crema. I don't know if I needed to roll that R, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna roll with it. Chicken. It's sweet. Nachos rocos. These beans were made right there. They were soaked overnight, they were boiled, they oh. were everything you see here is absolutely fresh. Oh yeah. Like our yeah. besties at this point, so I would share it with you, but nobody else. Nobody else. Lower amounts of you ain't get none. <laughs> I get special sharing privileges. What I love about this food mm -hmm. is it's fun to eat. It is. You, you know? don't need a knife, you don't need a fork. Uh -uh. You use your fingers. Uh-huh. That's right. Nachos ro ro Nachos rocas. Nachos, Nachos rocas. Rocas. There we go. I thought it rolled off the tongue, but really it is not. <laughs> well, you got some other stuff on your tongue. You're, you're, you're kind of uh, preoccupied. I'm not gonna lie. A little order of uh, nachos with one of those delicious cocktails. I mean, you're set. Intern Tiffany, come on, come in the middle, Intern <laughs> Tiffany, come over here. <laughs> Have you ever had a, a plantain, Intern Tiffany? I haven't. She ate the whole thing. You're supposed to nibble on it. <laughs> you said don't be proper. <laughs> How was it? I love it. Amazing. Can't it's talk sweet, about right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sweet. speechless. I love it. Amazing. <laughs> Intern Tiffany, thank you much. Thank you. Tell Good job debut. eating. Tell How much people debut? clap for us when we ate? <laughs> More people should clap for us. <laughs> thank you. Welcome, no problem, we'll keep doing this. <laughs> Green onion and cheese empanada. Cheese. <laughs> it's like a fun mystery of what's inside. Ooh. Oh, that oh. looks good. So much flavor in this little handheld delicious thing. Chorizo and cheese pupusa. You can eat it with a fork or if you're like us barbarians, you just pick it up with Close your hands. street food. Little yeah. pickles. Pickled onion, and then we gotta dip it. Dip it in, I'm gonna dip in both. Okay, me too. I'm just, I just did a little mini dip. So what exactly does Dos Rocas mean? What's the connection there? Well, literally Dos Rocas means two rocks, and uh, obviously one is Little Rock, and uh, Cesar's hometown in Paraguay, in, in his native language of Guarani, is Ita, which means rock. Okay, oh, so okay. it's a, the, the full circle connection. <laughs> Definitely don't forget the sauces, too, that we've got. Uh, the red and green taco sauces. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank My you. My rule is, whichever sauce is less the color of the meat you're eating, then that's the one to go with. That's so a good piece of advice. I always put green sauce on al pastor, uh, red sauce on carnitas or chicken. Okay. Um, the nopales always gets red sauce. All right, so I put the red sauce on this because this one's not super red. Mmm. Sauce adds a nice little extra flavor. I'll cut this one. And this is green, so we're gonna use the red sauce. There you go. Use the color not like it. It's like a Christmas tree in there, red and green. Everything was delicious. Love it. You gotta come check out Dos Rocos. 
Mm. It's so good, I'm not gonna double dip. Chip goes down, I get a new one. History's being made here. That's just straight wasteful. Mmm. <laughs> I'll double dip all day long to get more mm. of this guac. Good. Look at that cream. Oh my goodness. Mm. Back off my plantains. <laughs> that is ours. We signed, sealed, delivered to Rob and Amanda alone. That is really, really good. I highly suggest amazing. the plantains. Mm -hmm. so oh, yeah. Good. But what is this rolled in? Proprietary. He said, could you use that? Yes. He said, oh, proprietary. Proprietary. Five syllables. <laughs> One would have been fine. Yes. <laughs> rolled in something. I'm not telling you, Rob.